Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Blake and this channel is all about Merch for Amazon. So today I'm gonna to share a tool that I literally just discovered. It's called Merch Flow. This is a great way to revisit listings that have fallen off the map because it pulls in BSR data. And so you can find this extension in the Chrome Web Store. You just Google it, Merch Flow. It stores all your data locally. It's not sharing it, which is great. You don't have to be worried that they're pulling Merch products. You'd have to visit this link here, merchflow.app. And then it opens up this tool, you pull the listings. If you enable the extended listing data, it pulls in the BSR. This is so cool. And I've wanted, you know, software and tool creators to do this for a while now. And it'll update this every 24 hours, right? So it's like a daily reset. Why is this great? So often we'll have shirts, evergreen or seasonal, that used to sell, but then they fall off the map for whatever reason. You know, algorithm changes. Sometimes the keywords, they get too competitive, so other people start to rise up the ranks. And so you can look by sorting things by BSR, and I put a quick filter here. So as long as it's greater than zero or less than, you know, 30, 40 million BSR, it means it's sold at least once in terms of like, that's what it records. And then you can actually sort it by royalties or BSR. And the cool thing is if you sort by royalties is that you get a sense, okay, so these are my shirts, my best-selling shirts, and then their BSR. And then which of my former best-selling shirts do not sell anymore? And then you can revisit it that way, right? So now let's say I scroll down. This top one used to be my best-selling shirt. And I don't know why it's giving it a BSR here because it hasn't sold since last year on the Cyber Monday when they did all the, that weird ASIN changes and then all the best-selling shirts tanked from the ranks. This, this one has never recovered, so it perpetually now has a BSR on Amazon. It's a glitch. But let's say I go down and I'm looking for a BSR that's like above two mil or something. Okay, so like this one, this used to be one of my best-selling shirts. You know, it's up there in terms of lifetime royalties, but now it's at two million. So it means maybe the design isn't relevant anymore and it's outdated, or maybe the keywords are not as on point as they used to be and there's more and more competition, or maybe pricing is too high for the niche or the market. It helps to see what used to sell a lot and then revisit it, and then you can actually tweak it. So you either change the price or you change some keywords because hopefully, as you do Merch by Amazon, you get better and better at doing keyword research and then finding out, you know, how do you actually want to structure the listing. You could get in there and very easily edit the price. And you can also do bulk price changes. You just select a few things and then click the bulk price change. And then you could bulk price change as well. So that's really handy. And I love that this is, you know, free, at least currently. And then just to stress that this leverages the current Amazon algorithm update, which gives a ranking boost to new products. But I found the same thing happens when you refresh listing. So when you revisit a listing, you maybe tweak a few keywords, make sure you run the trademark checker before you do that, because otherwise, you know, you can get dinged, it happens again and again, change the price, you change a few keywords, does a little product refresh, this happened again and again, it starts to get back on the map and start selling again. So that's why this is so handy, because especially if you have a lot of products, it's hard to keep a tab on which have stopped selling. And so you can go back in there and then refresh the listing. Benefit from that algorithm change gives a temporary ranking boost to new products or refreshed products. This works especially well if the product had sales history in the past, which means it used to sell well and doesn't anymore. And this is so useful going into Q4, which is like less than a week away. All this traffic now is going on Amazon. We invested in these assets in the past, whether we put in time or we spent money on these designs. If they simply fall off the map, it's, you can get back in there, refresh it, and then leverage all the traffic that's on Amazon to try to get the sales going and try to get it into a regular seller again, because it's an asset that's just sitting. It's like dead weight in your Merch by Amazon account. And with this BSR organizer, you can see which have fallen off the map, particularly relative to total royalties earned. And so you can scroll down and see like, okay, so these are now getting in the two millions, here are three million and then see what I can do about it. So hopefully that's kind of cool and useful. It's something that not many people do with this idea of you want to put out a lot of fresh content and that's great. You know, you want to be putting out new fresh content all the time, but at the same time, if we just ignore all this assets that we've invested in the past, you know, solid designs, unique offers for customers, and they're just sitting as dead weight because they've fallen off the algorithm, it helps to get back in there, refresh it. Like if Amazon currently is saying like, okay, the algorithm will give a a rank to new products or refresh listings, we should probably try to use that to put some of our old shirts back on the map. So yeah, hopefully that's useful. Merch flow, I highly recommend it going into Q4. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.